This is Pac-Man. And this is a Pac-Man game that I made in 3D. And this is exactly how I made it. I started by making a new project in Unity and spawned a bean. And then I closed Unity because we don't need it right now. First, we need to make all the character models for the game. I will be using Magica Voxel, the same software which I used to make models for my no internet dino game. I started off by making this yellow ball called Pac-Man in 3D. Let's bring an image of Pac-Man into Magica Voxel and start shaping the model. After a while, I ended up with a yellow ball. In the original game, Pac-Man's mouth opens and closes when he's moving around the maze. So I also made a second yellow ball with the mouth wide open. But this turned out to be a huge waste of time and you will see why soon. Alright, let's bring him into Unity, grab him and drop him into the scene. Wait a minute. Why is it white? Oh, I need to add a material. I made a new material for Pac-Man and dropped it onto him. Now that we have Pac-Man, let's turn these ghosts into 3D as well. Each ghost in Pac-Man has a name of its own. The red one is called Blinky, the pink one is Pinky, the blue is Inky and yellow is Clyde. He's the only one with a different name. One of his mo- And just like the Pac-Man model, I exported an image into Magica Voxel and made the models for Blinky, Pinky, Inky and Clyde. I also had to make this blue ghost model for when this happens. Cool, now let's make the big pellets that turn the ghost blue and the dots that Pac-Man can eat. The dots are 2x2 two two cubes and the pellets are 8x8 spears. The final model we need to make are the maze pieces, which were a pain in the ass to make. I could have just made them in Unity with primitive cubes, but instead I went ahead and made them in Magica Voxel. So that it has curves. Now that we have all our models, it's time to make the actual game. Let's start by animating the Pac-Man to do this. I made an animation where the model will turn on and off quickly and also I made the ball stretch and squash which made it look better. Alright, now let's make the Pac-Man move. We will use Cinemachine for following a yellow ball. Let me just install the Cinemachine package and set it up. After that, I tried remaking the same movement as in the original Pac-Man game. And it didn't work. So I had to change it for a normal third person movement system. And this one worked. Remember when I said, so I also made a second yellow ball with the mouth wide open. Yeah, since the camera is behind you, you can't even see Pac-Man moving his mouth. That was a waste of time. I also found this outline shader on Unity's asset store and slapped it onto the model to give it an outline effect. Let's make the maze for Pac-Man to move around in. I applied the 2D level image texture onto the ground and using it, I started placing the maze pieces on top of it one by one. Some of the pieces were identical mirror pieces, so instead of creating a new piece, I flipped them by setting the scale property to a negative value. It did give me a warning that the collisions might not work as intended, but it was working just as expected. Thanks for lying, Unity. Alright, now let's move around the level and check it out, and we have a problem. The camera is going behind the walls when we move around. So how did me and my team fix it? There is this thing called as littering that many games use in order to fade objects in front of the camera so that it doesn't block the camera's view of the player. And with the help of my team member, I created this shader graph and the results were better than I expected. It isn't perfect, but it gets the job done. After the level was done, I added dots so that Pac-Man had something to munch on. It took me a while piecing each dot one by one. Could I have placed the dots by writing a script? Absolutely not. I have no idea how to. But I finished it anyways. Once I finished adding the dots, I wrote a script to set the dots inactive if Pac-Man needs them. Now let's move on to the ghost. Each ghost has its own special way for moving around in the maze. Blinky chases Pac-Man, whereas Pinky chases two tiles ahead of Pac-Man. Now that's cool and all, but we don't have tiles in our game. Which is why we are going to use Navmesh to move the ghost in the maze. I made a new game object for adding the Navmesh surface and make the new Navmesh. We will also add Navmesh agent onto the ghost. The ghost will find the nearest part to Pac-Man and move towards him. For Blinky to move around in the maze, Pinky followed an empty game object in front of Pac-Man. Pinky followed an empty game object in front of Pac-Man. I saved you from all that boring information, and I think that deserves a subscribe. Now moving on to the video. The last thing I worked on was pellets. Since we can't see all the ghosts at the same time, I figured it would be a waste if ghost turned blue as soon as Pac-Man ate a pellet. So instead, when Pac-Man eats a pellet, it gives him 3 pellets, which he can then shoot at any one ghost to make him scared and run towards the ghost house. Let's change the environment a bit so it doesn't look like I ripped off Pac-Man even though I did. I changed the skybox to black and turned the walls darker. The ground now has blue grid texture. And I also got rid of the sunlight. Now since it's dark, let's make everything glow. I added emission materials to all the ghosts, Pac-Man and the dots. I then added a point light to the dots. Finally, I added UI which consisted of a score counter and a high score display. I also added this pellets counter so that the player knows how many pellets he has. Music and sound effects were the only things remaining. I added the iconic game start sound along with the munching and ghost sound effects. And with that, our Pac-Man 3D was complete.
If you want to play the game, the link is down in the description. Also, we have a subreddit now. It's called Sabian Submissions. Currently, I have no idea what to do over there yet. But yeah, you can join the community now. Drop down some suggestions for what we can do on Reddit in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.